Hello, Gary Smith here. Short video to show you how to successfully install the GSP Sales Dashboard. There are two versions of the dashboard on the App Exchange. This version for Enterprise Edition and above, and a very similar version of the GSP Sales Dashboard for Professional Edition. Now, the only difference between the two dashboards relates to this chart here. It's this chart in the middle of the screen, the short-term pipeline trend. The underlying report for that chart uses a feature called historical trending, and historical trending is only available in Enterprise Edition and above within Salesforce, hence the need for two slightly different versions of the dashboard. So if you're using the Enterprise Edition of the dashboard, make sure you enable the historical trending feature. It's not enabled by default. You might need to go and enable it in your org. Now that's really easy to do. Let me just show you. you go to the setup area and in the search box for setup, type in historical and select historical trending. And if you have a bunch of objects like this, make sure you are on the opportunity object. And all you need to do is check this box, enable historical trending and click save. And you should be good to go to install the enterprise edition of the GSP sales dashboard. If you have any problems, get in touch, go to our website, GarySmithPartnership.com, give us a ring or go to our contact us page and fill in the form and we will give you a hand. Good luck.